Greetings from Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York. And here is the Steeplechase Pier on the last night of July. It's a summer look of Brooklyn, New York, as seen from the Atlantic Ocean Beach. There is the Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park, the Cyclone Roller Coaster, the Brooklyn Aquarium, and now the Dark Nights of the Atlantic Ocean, where you can find people fishing and long after the sun has set. Now let's take a walk down Steeplechase Park as we approach the parachute jump, which is an iconic image of Brooklyn, New York that is part of the 1939 World's Fair, but relocated and very well absorbed into the community of Brooklyn. I love New York. And that was at that time Steeplechase Park. So to have this area called Steeplechase Pier makes perfect sense as it recognizes the history of Brooklyn, New York, even though that iconic image is from Flushing, Queens. But it was intended to come to Brooklyn. Now you can make a left or a right. Let's make a left. This would head us in towards the community of Seagate. And if you are here during sunset, uh, there's some great views towards Staten Island and the Verrazano Bridge. Swimming is absolutely incredible in this area. We'll get to that in just one second. But first, I want to let you know, there is no jumping or diving from the pier. And what we have here at the pier, as you can see, the coast of the Jersey Shore, Sandy Hook, New Jersey, Gunnison Beach, Fort Hancock, and... To our left would be Breezy Point, the Rockaway Peninsula. And that dark space between us, that's where the Rockaway Inlet connects with the Atlantic Ocean. So we have the direct water connection to the Atlantic Ocean, but a little bit of a padding, which stops the big waves from coming in. So you can swim in the salt water without really having to rough it like you would at the Montauk Point Lighthouse or other areas of the Atlantic Ocean. And that's why you see so many people fishing. You're thinking, really, I'm gonna eat fish from New York City waters? Well, the water is cleared out very frequently from high tide and low tide through the Atlantic Ocean. So fishing here is completely a great idea and it is permitted by the Department of Health because the water is filtered so frequently by the Atlantic Ocean. Again, this is the pier. You'll walk just a bit more. Actually, let's stop and take a look at some of the rides. It really feels like summer when you see the parachute jump, which honestly also represents winter. People will line up alongside of the parachute jump for the New Year's Eve fireworks, and they will light up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten um, in an order as the lights are jumping towards the sky in a countdown not as popular as the Times Square New Year's Eve countdown, but something significant and important to the people in the community of Brooklyn. What we are seeing now is Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park, as well as Luna Park, which at one point was known as Astro Land. And if you're continuing heading down the boardwalk, that blue structure would be the aquarium. <laughs> now, walking on uh, the pier here actually feels like an aquarium. I did see some folks who were crabbing that were bringing up crabs. And I have seen people catching fish quite frequently. So they're here for the novelty of it all. But as well, because the water pushes in from the Atlantic Ocean directly into this area, it actually brings in the fish uh, from an area that they might not be able to catch without a fishing boat. So if you're here for high tide, and the water is pushing in the fish from the Atlantic Ocean to the coast here at Coney Island, Brooklyn. Uh, certainly the fishing would be quite an opportunity that you can get without a fishing boat. Now, how does one get here without a car though? This is urban beach life. You could take the subway and it would be the, uh, the D train, which would bring you to Diker Heights for the Christmas lights. If you stayed on a little bit longer, you could be at the last stop, which would be Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York. The F train, this is the easiest one to remember. Coney Island, Brooklyn. The F train, why? 
for fun, fun, fun. You'll never forget how to get to Coney Island now. Uh, you take the fun train, which is only $2.75 from the Empire State Building, uh, which is 13 miles. That's how far we are from Midtown Manhattan. Take the F train. And if you were to walk along uh, the boardwalk here, often you'd see the Bandera de Puerto Rico and you have the drummers out performing for you during sunset. Always a great time to be here at Coney Island. I thought I'd be done hours ago, but there's always fun to be found um, in the Atlantic Ocean community of Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York. Till next time, happy summer from ever beautiful BKNY. Keep exploring.